Hello Kido, Sir E is here, and for this video, we're going to talk about characteristic of images formed by plane mirrors. <laughs> Mirror is described as an object with smooth surface producing specular reflection of light. And some examples of this are One type of mirrors is what we call plane mirror. It is a mirror with a flat reflected surface. Just like the common mirror that we have in our house. This time, let us discuss how to draw the ray diagram of image formed by the plane mirror. We have several steps to follow. Step number one, draw an object in front of the mirror and an eye or viewer. So let's put the plane mirror here. Then the object represented by a downward arrow and a viewer or an eye. And that is the first step. Let's proceed to the second one. Draw the image of the object on the other side of the mirror, just like this. As we draw the image, you have to remember these things. First, the distance of object is equal to the distance of image. Second, the image size is the same size as the object size. Let's proceed to step number three. Draw the light rays from the image to the eyes. From the image to the eyes. So this is how we do it. If you observe, we use broken lines from the image to mirror to indicate that these are virtual rays because the plane mirror produces virtual image. And in virtual image, light rays do not actually meet at the image position. With that, a virtual image cannot be projected on a screen. Let's have the last step. Join the light rays from the mirror to the image object. And we do it by drawing these lines. And we have completed now the diagram. You have to remember that the blue line is what we call incident rays, while the red lines are what we call reflected rays. Once more, you have to remember that plane mirrors produce virtual image. Characteristic of images formed by plane mirrors. For us to describe the characteristics of this image, we use the acronym SALT, which stands for size, attitude, location, and type. For the size of the image formed in the plane mirror, it is always the same size as the object. Thus, there is no magnification happening. For the attitude, we always form an image that is upright but laterally inverted, meaning the left becomes right and the right becomes left. So we describe it as laterally inverted. Location. The image is at the same distance from mirror as the object. And this image is formed behind the mirror. That is the reason why the type of the image that we form is virtual image. Once the image is formed behind the mirror, it is forming virtual images. 
And again, virtual images cannot be projected on a screen. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned how to draw the ray diagram of images formed by plane mirrors. And at the same time, the characteristics of the images formed by this. See you again in my next Teach Blog. Bye-bye and God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>